let's go to the first question. Was it a day just like any other? It was. The last thing I'm thinking about is a terrorism bomb. Did you think you were going to die? All I could think about is, I want to meet my maker today. It happened years ago. Why can't you get over it? <laughs> you don't ever get over it. What did you lose in the disaster that meant the most to you? My friends. Pure and simple, my friends. Did you leap to action like heroes in the movies? Jesus. <laughs> The movies are scripts, so it's easy for them to leap into action. No, I did not. I, at that point, ran to save myself. No, and to this day, it puzzles me as to why I couldn't. When we were running towards a penitentiary and he was still firing at us, there was a lot of trembling. A lot of trembling. And then we hid in the penitentiary building. I heard people in a house that had been dislodged and floating across the paddocks and you could hear him scream and knew the people in the house that more than likely they weren't going to get through this. And then there was a baby in a pram next to us crying. I said to the parents, shut the fucking baby up because he will hear us. So as much as you then wanted to help, the reality side of me, of your brain saying, get in that water, you're not helping no one. I, uh, I did my part, I did my bit, which is why I was in the SES in the first place. I went in out of the Surrey Club a couple of times, I pulled some people out, and a big section of the roof had fallen down. I heard three girls crying, screaming out for help. My only disappointment is that uh, by the time the fire front uh, came into town, we hadn't had the opportunity to, uh, to get to more people. And I had to um, turn my back on and walk away and Listen to these girls scream while they burnt to death. You know, there was other noises, people yelling, people screaming, but I can't forget those three girls. I can't. Drum roll. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs>